on the seventh day before Christmas, Paul is kitchen recipe. Cabbage cooked in butter, creamy mashed potato, orange glazed carrots, caraway and parsnips, bacon and brussels, pork stuffing balls. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name is Paulie and this is my kitchen. In today's festive episode, I'm gonna show you how to make the best pork, sage and onion stuffing mix. I'm gonna mix these up, bake these as balls and you can even stuff your turkey with them if you really want to. So guys, if this is your first time here, do remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But guys, we're gonna dive straight in and all the ingredients for this recipe are here. So guys, don't worry too much if you do miss these ingredients. I will be putting these in the info box below. So do check out there for them and you'll be able to get them down there. So yeah guys, we're gonna dive straight in. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this. So the first thing that you will need is you'll need to take your red onion. You'll need to take your sharp knife. I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle. We're gonna take off the ends. We're gonna peel them. and we're gonna chop into them very, very finely. This is easier if you don't take one of the ends off. So we're just gonna cut straight through the middle of it, twice, and then we're gonna finely dice this. So once you stop crying, you've chopped up your red onions. We're gonna take a giant glass bowl, pop these in there, and I'm gonna go <laughs> wipe these tears away from my eyes. So next thing we want to do, we want to boil our kettle. We wanna take our jug, and our sage, and we're just gonna pick off a handful of leaves. I think that should be enough. I'm gonna take a strainer, pop that there, and put our sage on top. We're gonna to get our kettle, and we're just gonna pour boiling water gently all over our sage. So the reason you wanna do this is because sage is such a strong and potent herb, it'll overpower everything, and that's not what you want. So we're doing this to take the edge of the sage flavour out of the sage so you'll be able to taste all the lovely other ingredients in your pork stuffing. We're just gonna push that out, pop that there, spill a little bit of water so I just need to clean this up. All we need to do is take our sage, we're gonna take our sharp knife and we're gonna chop into it and then we're just gonna finally chop it up. And we're gonna pop that into our bowl as well. It's starting to smell like Christmas, love it. So just a couple more things, we need to get our garlic, I'm gonna break it open. I'm gonna take our fine grater and mince both of our garlic cloves up. I'm gonna pop that into our mix as well. So next thing we wanna do is we wanna take our breadcrumbs and pop those in. I'm gonna take our pork mince and put that in as well. And take our egg, put that in. And take a pinch of salt. And we also want some pepper in there as well. Now this is the really mucky bit, you need to roll up your sleeves like this and then dive straight in with your hands and mix it all through. So keep mixing it all through until all the lovely bright colours look even. Just says about that, and we're going to take a baking tray, a nice large one, and we're just going to roll balls of stuffing. Just pop these on there like that. So guys, make sure you get all the balls around the same sort of time, because you know Grandma Pauline will kick off royally if she ends up with a small stuffing ball and everybody else has got big balls. Bad times ahead, trust me. So yeah guys, now we've got the stuffing balls, they're all ready to go in the oven. I do have some stuffing mix left over. I'm gonna save this for a future episode, so stay tuned and you'll catch that one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna pop these in the oven at gas mark six, 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. So yeah guys, our pork stuffing balls have been in the oven now for about 10 to 15 minutes and they look absolutely amazing. All we need now is a dish. I'm just gonna pop these into our serving dish. So yeah guys, that's how you make pork stuffing balls. They are absolutely amazing for Christmas and you can use this mix to stuff your turkey with as well. And it'll be absolutely incredible on Christmas day. So guys, thanks for watching. Do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release the next video, which will be really soon. But in the meantime, guys, hope you're inspired, happy cooking, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.